Hey guys, Harley here, and today I got a pretty big video. Um, got a lot of things going on with the fish tanks. Most importantly, the quarantine tank that slash hospital tank that I have been medicating. I thought it couldn't get any worse, and then last night I come home and I've never seen ick this bad and it the silver dollars were just covered with ick and I had started to lose hope the goldfish in the tank has also got an ick now and it just seemed to be getting worse before getting better no matter how much medicine I've been putting in this tank um, and today I come home first things first I go check out that tank and I was very happy to see that it's starting to clear up uh, one of the silver dollars is almost completely clear the goldfish looks clear although he doesn't look too happy right now I think the medicine's a little too much for him I mean I've been dosing these guys I mean the silver dollars are pretty hardy but I've been dosing these guys for probably a week now <sighs> longer than that um, I don't I don't know I don't think the goldfish is gonna die he's just really not enjoying the medicine or recovering from being sick or a combination of the two but one of the silver dollars is starting to look better um, the other silver dollar is only has probably like 40 50 percent of the spots that he had just last night and so first thing I did when I got home was I did probably like a 50 percent water change and then I put one more dose. It was actually my last dose of what's called clout, the medicine I've been using for the ick. Um, it worked good on this tank, cleared it up pretty good, although this tank, I was lucky enough, it wasn't that big of an outbreak this time. It was just the two new fish from the local pet store, the geophagus over here, and the iridescent shark behind me in the back of the tank excuse me um, and so I have decided to stay away from that pet store for the time being as they're going through some sort of ick outbreak whether it's their systems or the suppliers or both by now um, I don't feel like going there and letting them know they gotta they gotta figure it out um, I'm not trying to upset any of their employees but it's under control in this tank I still got the temperature up because the temperature um, does speed up the lifespan of the disease and probably in about a week I'll be able to turn the temperature back down so these guys can go back to normal um, but upstairs the the thing I don't like about that tank is the heater is not adjustable it's just set for a decent temperature I'm assuming it's gonna be like 77 78 um, you can't adjust it which is one of my favorite things to do if I'm unlucky enough to get ick is I gradually put the temperature up over probably like one or two days to 86 degrees um, and that gets rid of it a lot faster it's a lot more manageable but that tank does not have those capabilities again it's just a 10 gallon um, tank that I'm using for quarantine and carrying fish um, I'm not really gonna go out and buy a another heater I don't need one it works good enough 
for the situation. But I am very happy that that tank is clearing up. And so yeah, that I used my last dose of medicine that I had on that tank. It's in there now. Um, what I also did is I went out to a different pet store um, and I got some, I got more medicine, you know, just in case, stocking up in case I need a couple more doses to be uh, confident in that tank's health. Um, in case I need some doses for this, if I find that I get it again, cross my fingers. Um, what I also did is I got some giant danios from this pet store. They are in the quarantine tank now and it kind of works out good that there's medicine in the tank because the last thing I need is another pet store to have to give me sick fish. Um, so I got three giant danios and after a lengthy quarantine, those are gonna go in the Jack Dempsey tank um, to join the other giant Danios. I'll show a clip of those um, later on in this video. Um, I really like the giant Danios because they're just, I can't, you can't even take a picture of these fish because they're so fast. And so that gives them the, the ability to go in with my electric blue Jack Dempsey, my Oscar, my electric blue Akara, and it's just, they add so much activity to the tank, but at the same time, they're small size, they, they can't, um, they can't catch them because of how fast they are. So they're pretty popular um, with uh, aggressive cichlid owners um, because it's just hard. They they just get bored trying to chase after them um, and eventually give up and when they they do get pretty big uh, Probably around like five inches and they have very nice patterns um, Right now they don't because uh, They're young and they're stressed um, From transporting but when they get comfortable in their new tank, they are going to have very nice colors, like the ones in my cichlid tank do. And I'm really a big fan of those fish. So yes, I got the medicine. I got more medicine, just to be safe. Uh, I got the Danios. I got some more water conditioner, because you can always use more of that. And I got crickets. I, uh, every time I go to the pet store, it's, uh, it's not a common, uh, occasion, but I always get crickets, um, because these guys love crickets, and you know, the Jack Dempsey and the Oscar love crickets too. So, without further ado, I will show you those clips, and everything else I talked about, let's go.